Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Downfall. Um, quick recap I guess. Um, ooh, I've got a bit of a cough so that's going to happen a few times. Um, but yeah, so we arrived at this hotel. Um, Ivy, Joe's wife, is basically, I don't know, losing it. Um, I don't really know what's going on. So we went to sleep and then suddenly Joe was like in this weird cat lady-esque place I guess. So. Um, and then this building appeared, which was his building, I think, was it? So let's let's just go straight in. Examine a communal a communal uh, blah, 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 mailbox. Joe and Ivy Davis, flat four. Looks like there's something inside. Open. Force it open. Damn it, my fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. Do I have anything? Does a cat magnet? Is that a secret? No. Thought the cat magnet might be some secret tool. <laughs> I remember this guy Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. What does that say? Bob called him for something? I don't know. Small flowers? No, even if I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. Okay. Right, let's just have a look along all the way. Okay, so there's no stairs. Uh, brick wall. Let's examine that. Cheese. Great, the staircase has been blocked by this wall. Okay. There's a locker. Examine, is it locked? Looks like it's been moved recently. Open. Oh, hasn't done anything. Okay. Oh, it's already open, sorry. Search it. This looks like one of my books. What is it doing here? Stephen King, Misery. Oh, good book. Can I do anything with the book? Uh... Examine it. Most of the books are, not, are written by Stephen King. What can I say? I'm a fan. So am I, Joe. So am I. And a screwdriver inside it. Okay, yeah, take it. Hey, we can open this. We can open this mailbox now, maybe. Force it open. Okay. Screwdriver use. Open that cheese. Oh, my eyes going really weird, guys. It's driving me nuts. What is this? Hmm. Letter. <laughs> What's inside the letter? Open. There's a ten pound note and key inside. Hmm. Weird. Why would anyone send me this? Ten pounds and a key. Okay. Can I examine it? Why don't you want to send me money? Uh, examine. Whoever sent me this key must be trying to help me. Hmm. Alright, okay, let's see if we can go through here. It's a door to the basement, nobody goes down there anymore. Well, that's about to change. Can we go in? It's locked. Well, it just so happens we got a letter with a key in it. Boom. Okay, so what about this cheese? Switch, examine. The furnace has been broken for years, let's try and use it. Anyway, pardon me. Nothing happened. Open anything in there. Oh. Rusty old furnace, yeah, it's broken. Can I not look in it though? Okay, I guess not. Cat clock, what? We've seen this cat clock before. Examine. Our cat Lucifer would have loved this toy clock. Can we take it? And by saying I've seen it before, I'm pretty sure that cat was in the cat lady at some point. It must have been. If it's not, then fair enough. There's a cat like it in Fran Bo, so. I feel like. Is this the basement you go to in the cat lady, or is that a load of rubbish? I don't know. Because you do come... No, this is the... I don't know one. Who's there? Um... Hey, who are you? The heck? What is that? Um... Um, what the hell?
Well, that was a fun dream, I guess. <laughs> Ivy? Oh, God. She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. Auto save. I always like to save after an auto save. I don't know why. Right, can we just examine this mirror? Sorry, okay, let's try and find Ivy. God knows where she is. Hold on. Let me examine Ivy's bed. I bet it hasn't been slept in. This is all wrong. Ivy always slept on, on my left side. Oh, okay. Out we go. Was that there before all this? I don't remember. 102, the woman we don't want to disturb. So apparently we're not supposed to disturb this woman. Let's try and enter it anyway. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, okay. I mean, if Ivy's supposedly gone to breakfast, which I doubt, she'll be down here. Unless she has. Uh, cellar? Do we? We don't want to go in the cellar right now, do we? Okay, into the elephant place. Oh. Good morning, okay. Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? Let's go in with this. Where the fuck is my wife? Uh, Mr. Davis? Such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note. A letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? What the hell is happening? What the fuck is this? It's just a dining room. Breakfast service? As usual? You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a show. And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. I, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Who I you? don't think I knew in the first place. What a personal question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine on some other occasion. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. Who is that, Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. She's even half as mad as you. My wife's not safe with that, Sophie. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. If she's even half as mad as you, my wife's not safe with that, Sophie. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. No thanks. No thanks. What a bad way to start the day, Mr. Davis. They say it's the most important to me of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Okay, so we'll just ignore these... I mean, now we'll ignore these dead people with animal heads. Um... Hi. Hmm. 
Um, oh, okay, that's not good. You little bastard. The heck? Did he take the key? Did he have the key? I didn't even notice, to be honest, but I think he did. I like this music. And the room's completely different, okay. Come back here. Nice painting. Does that cat even... Wait, am I upstairs? What the hell? Um... Okay, let's go in here. Start at the end. What? Let's look at the TV, because it looks like it's a good channel, I guess. What are we even seeing? What the heck? Um, and I'm controlling this. Okay. What on earth? Wait, I thought I was on the TV. The hell? Um. What's that bird mean? Wait, what? Did the cat go back inside or...? Well, I didn't go back inside because this isn't the freaking... We're back at... His... Flat thing. Did the cat come in here? This is where the... Axe guy killed me when... We were dreaming. I don't even know if the cat came down. Oh. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. Really? Is this the same building the cat lady lived in? I can't remember, you know, it's been so long, but there's like, just these similarities, I'm just sort of like, I, have I seen this? Cat, what do I have? Does the, is the cat clock going to help me? No. So is the cat now going to run back there? Okay. So how do I catch this cat? Does the furnace work? I don't know why. I doubt the cat's gonna want money. No. Huh. I can't go back upstairs. So literally all I have to play with is this furnace. And the cat. Well what am I meant to do? I mean is it obvious? Try and sneak in, I don't know. Right. I'm just gonna close this to make something different. Uh I can't go upstairs. What's that? Switch, no. Hmm. What am I missing here? Is it that obvious that I'm just being stupid again? Like in Franbo? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's think here. Every time I go near the cat, it runs away to the other side of the room, right? It won't let me use my items anymore. Oh, yeah, I can. I mean, I doubt it wants £10. I'll use it. No, of course there's not. But I've got nothing else to do. I really don't get this cheese. Huh. Hmm. 
Well... I don't know what to play with here, because it's just gonna... It runs on the other side of the building every time, and I don't know what voice I'm doing. Right. I mean, I can't go upstairs, so what? I mean, cat clock. Okay, so he's put that in the furnace. Wait, will that make the cat go in there? I don't know. Um, whoa! Um... And the axe guy's right there, so... Hi! Uh... Hi, axe guy. Um... The axe guy looks suspiciously like me, I just noticed. Um... Cat? Are you... Kitty? Uh, well, the key's safe. And the key's too hot. Ooh, dear me. I'm still stuck down here. Maybe I can wait for it to cool off. Examine. I can see child remains of the cat. I didn't mean to do this. The furnace was supposed to be broken. Oh well, yeah. Can I take the key now? No, it's still too hot. I used a ten pound like a glove. No. <laughs> How am I stuck again already? What is this? What am I supposed to do? Ugh. Use the magnet, Let's okay. That's accomplished something. I've got it. Wait, I picked up the key with the mag Oh the mag uh uh I get it. What an idiot. Um but all the lights have gone out, so Um That's the key to one oh two, okay. Um, and we're back. What? How did I...? I have no idea, Joe. I have no idea. I mean, is anyone at reception? Is that stupid woman there? Oh no, she lives on the top floor, didn't I think she said. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, can we use the lift? Oh, okay. Okay. Ow, my ears itchy. Itch, okay. Up we go. Let's disturb Sophie in room 102. Because apparently Ivy's in there and they're best friends now. Use. Hello? Oh! 